My name is Susana Marin, and I'm teaching a course at the Princess School of Traditional Arts on Guler and Cancre painting, focusing on the representation of landscape in this uh, Indian tradition. Um, Guler and Cancre painting uh, is part of what is known as Pahari painting. Pahari painting means painting from the hills, from the foothills of the Himalayas, and this is one of the main schools of Indian painting. I've been focusing on landscape because this particular uh, tradition is uh, known, renowned for the beautiful way of representing nature, um, which is reflecting the beauty of the landscape of the actual Kangra Valley, which is where the, these paintings were made. Starting by um, the drawing, uh, setting the drawing um, based on actual paintings. Most of the paintings that I uh, that they are working on are based on a series of cooler paintings called uh, the Gita Gopinda, uh, which is a very uh, well-known series painted in Guler around 1775. Um, all those series of paintings are set in nature. So we are taking the backgrounds of these paintings and I'm encouraging the students to create their own compositions based on the elements that we found in these original paintings. This is the first layer of colors. All the colors have been laid out in this uh, painting of a student. So the sky, the background, the water. And once we have all the colors, we burnish the back of the painting. So we place the painting upside down, uh, usually on a marble slab. Here we, we do it on a piece of glass and with a agate stone, we burnish the back quite strongly, quite firmly, both directions. And in doing this, there is, um, of course, the pigments that are in this side, <clears throat> they get heated by the burnishing. And the colors get very, uh, very compact, very um, bright. So this, we have to do this all the time. We, whenever we add another layer of color, we turn it upside down and we burnish the back. And this is uh, this this technique of burnishing the colors. It actually makes the makes the painting very durable. And when you look at paintings from two centuries ago, you can see the colors are beautifully maintained. So this tradition of Guler and Kangra painting, of Bahari painting, um, is still carried on today by very very few artists in India. And so part of my um, research that I've been doing at the Princess School of Traditional Arts was to go to the Kangra Valley and document the work that is being done today, how this tradition is being carried out today. Um, so I had the good fortune of working with the very few painters that are still uh, using this language and producing beautiful paintings. Most of them fear that this tradition is disappearing or is, there's not enough people carried on the tradition. So I'm very eager to pass on the knowledge that I've received from these masters. Um, so I'm very happy that I had this opportunity of giving this course here, um, hoping that everybody will uh, get a feel of this beautiful tradition and come up with a finished painting at the end of the course.